98.4% of primary six students who sat for Singapore's primary school leaving examinations this year can go on to secondary school. Now, more than 37,000 students were assessed using the achievement level scoring system, which was first used last year. The cohort's performance is comparable to last year's. 68.4% of students qualify for the express course, the same proportion as last year. And slightly fewer qualify for the normal academic course at 18.7%, two percentage points down from last year. These students qualify for normal technical instead. About 62% of students from the normal courses may further take at least one subject at a more demanding level. Now, this is a smaller proportion than last year's 65%. Among the thousands receiving their PSLE results is Shriya Silvaratnam from Pailaba Methodist Girls School. She's of Indian descent but has been learning Mandarin since she was two. Her love for the language started in kindergarten and she has excelled in it. And she even took higher Chinese in primary five and six, acing the subject during PSLE. I feel like Chinese will help me in the future in terms of my studies and my job because right now in Singapore a lot of people speak Chinese and it will help me um, understand people better. With no one to speak Mandarin with at home, Shriya works on it in her own ways. I feel like when learning Chinese, it's important to be consistent and always revise. Even if you finish your test already, you should still continue revising. For example, uh, the spelling words that you uh, were tested on previously and also the previous worksheets that you completed already. She's now making her choice of secondary school, the next step towards a dream of becoming a doctor or lawyer. Over at Queenstown Primary School, Charming Han is already living out his dreams. During the COVID-19 circuit breaker, the young entrepreneur started a home bakery with his mother. He also started a YouTube channel featuring his own stop-motion videos with Lego bricks. His goal? To be above average. I could not let my life just be an average, something just average. I wanted it to be exciting. So I tried to do baking to earn money for my Lego also. And I also started my YouTube channel, I think, slightly after because I wanted to do something that would make it above average. Despite having reading difficulties in his early years, he did not give up. His biggest support pillars are his parents and teachers. One thing about him, he's very curious in his learning. So at times he will actually ask questions and post questions to myself and even the teachers. So from there we actually, you know, give him and provide with it, provide him the knowledge, whatever that he needs. Ming Han hopes his secondary school will provide opportunities to grow his keen interest in content creation and maybe expand his fledgling baking business.